Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, as you can see, a bit more brightness going on. You can actually see me a little bit better. Probably a bit dodgy, but yeah, I've got a new camera. Um, I've got the Sony uh, H... I can't remember what it is now. The HRC450, um, so give it a go. Hopefully it'll come out better. I've had a lot of issues with my phone, as you know, over the since I've been going, really. Um, so, yeah. Let's crack on. Right, I've got a beer from Magic Rock. and It's their Waniac IPA. It's a collaboration with Cigar City out in Florida, in America. Um, I'm getting used to the screen here, it's all kind of so. I keep looking in the camera. Um, so yeah, it's coming in at 6.4% ABV. Uh, it says here the malts are Golden Promise Wheat and Crystal Malt, the hops are T90, Galaxy and Eureka, am I butchering it? Probably. Um, and then Cryo Hops, and then again it's Lupin Powder, uh, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe. Uh, the yeast is US Double IPA Yeast. Um, best before the 17th of May 2017, so yeah. I purchased this at Cottridge Wines up in Birmingham when I was up there the end of November um, doing a bottle share so that's pretty cool it's coming in a 500 mil can there's all the other information if you want to pause it so yeah this cost £3.60 so that's pretty good by all accounts what I've seen online, etc. Right, so let's stop gassing and let the beer do it. So yeah, collaboration beer. Wow. Kind of a nice, um, not rye colour, but certainly something along them lines. A deep colour, very cloudy. So one finger so far, yeah, one finger just off white head, some bigger bubbles on top of the beer. Lots of little bubbles clinging to the side of the glass, but yeah, there's lots of floaties in this as well. You can see them suspended there. It's getting an aroma then. Wow, man, big, big, big mango. Uber, uber kind of mango. Yeah, there's a slight kind of sweet edge to the to the beer. Citrusy. Pineapple. Some stone fruits, light stone fruits. Grapefruit. The usual kind of suspects. But yeah, definitely getting a sweet smell. Let's go for it anyway. Cheers. Oh, it's a juice bomb. It's an absolute juice bomb. There's none of that sourness that you, you, you I got from the um, the previous beer I done from Magic Rock, the Hypnotist. That was a little bit too sour for me, but this, none of that. It's a nice sweet front end. Don't know the IBUs of this beer. Mm. Big mango, citrusy. There's a slight. I start hanging around on the palate as well. There's a nice, I'd say warming, but it's got that kind of quality to it. Not the alcoholic warming like it's burning, but yeah, it's a it's a nice kind of upper end of medium malt base I'm picking up on the beer. Mm. Let's pull the rest of this in. Definitely can condition. There's loads of chunky monkeys. I don't know if you'll pick. Yeah, you are. Look at that. Look at that. 
So had a bit of a journey from from Birmingham all the way down here. I think now this this is now locally to me in Margate, the bottle shop in Margate, and um, over in Canterbury. But I've had it for quite a while. Look at these things underneath. Look at that. Oh, wow, that is so good. Pineapple. All them typical American type tropical fruit notes you'd expect. And it's there. There is a nice, there is a bitterness there. It's starting to come through now the more I'm drinking it. If I was going to hazard a guess, I would imagine this is probably in the 65 range, something like that. I have no idea. That's just a pure guess. It's an awesome beer. It really is. It's very well balanced. That, that sweetness is there for a reason, to balance it out with the IBUs at the back end. And it's doing it perfectly. Very, very nice. One more taste and a rating. Mm. It's a lovely beer. I'm giving that. I'm giving that a nine out of ten. Um, I'll say nine and a half because I'm going to give it about a ninety-seven out of a hundred. So that's around about nine, about nine and a half on the one to ten scale out, and also the hundred. So, so yeah, nine and a half out of ten from me. If you've had this beer, the collaboration with from Magic Rock, the Waniac, their IPA. Look at that can. Excellent stuff, as usual, in a 500ml can. Let us know what you think. I'll put all the links down to both breweries um, in the description bar below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, that would be great. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.